Yeah, you already know what it is. Lethal Talent 24, die bombing at you with some Eagles content. Let's go. Yo, 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 guys, it's your boy Lethal Town 24 coming at you with another video. And yo, guys, Ian Rappaport came out with a news report today about the NFL Players Association or the NFLPA and their vote to unanimously recommend proposed changes to the CBA, right? So uh, basically, what he reported was that the uh, NFL teams usually start off with 90 uh, players on the roster. They can now cut that to 80 players as they choose, as long as they do it before August 16th. Uh, so they have basically until then to cut their players down to 80. All right. And uh, he also mentioned that, um, you know, once they do get cut down to 80, that um, all players cannot, or sorry, all 80 players cannot be in the same building at, or in a building at one time. They have to be separated, right? So, um, you know, they're going to be in separate buildings or whatnot. They're just using uh, that or they're doing this to, um, you know, for precaution in, in order to keep the virus separated you know, from, you know, bigger groups, right? So, I mean, that's a good move. You know what I mean? Um, you know, you you basically have people separated in camp anyway, where the O-line works with the O-line, the D-line works with the D-line. They're all doing their drills, you know, defensive backs, wide receivers, what have you. They're all doing their individual drills and working on their craft. So, I mean, I think it's good to for, you know, for them to separate these groups, which they are already separated anyway, if you really think about it, and um, you know, and put them in uh, in different places, right? So uh, he also uh, Ian Rappaport also went in to say that um, that the undrafted free agents, you know, could be cut when um, you know coaches and and staff or front offices or whatever. Uh, Howie Roseman in this case. Since he's a GM, is um, he's making moves in order to get these uh, undrafted free agents, um, you know, whether or not on uh, to keep them on the team, right? So, what that means is like, you know, it means that our guys, our un undrafted free agents, um, the ones where we're, we're really looking to see what they can do, like Adrian Killens, Michael Warren, um, Graylin Arnold, Manasseh Bailey, those guys, those. They can be cut. Now, Graylin Arnold, I don't necessarily think, um, you know, I think he'll make the roster or he'll be able to make it to at least camp and see what he can, uh, for him to showcase his skills with the Eagles. You know, I do think that because, um, you know, there was a report out there today that uh, Graylin Arnold is probably the best undrafted free agent that the, uh, that the Eagles have picked up, right? So, I mean, I think with that being out there that... Uh, that the Eagles are going to do their best to, to keep him as long as he's doing a good job I'm pretty sure he's going to remain on the team you know what I'm you know what I'm saying so um really it just comes down to Adrian Killens you know hopefully he'll be able to get in the camp and show what he can do he's got he's definitely got the speed he just doesn't have the size you know what I'm saying he's got the he's got the maneuverability you know he he can uh, make you miss in space. You know stuff like that. And I mean he can burn you. I mean I definitely think he'll be more of a contributor to special teams. I don't think he'll be you know too much of a player uh, you know on the offense. But that special teams talent is definitely there, and we can definitely use that because we haven't had that in, in a while. Um, you know I think you know other than um, other than Darren Sproles you know, at least for punt returns, the only person I can think of that was really good. Or uh, uh, the only player I could really think that was really good for us on like kickoff returns was like Kenyon Barner and um, you know I think DeAndre Carter was pretty good and um, and I know nobody really remembers this dude but Josh Huff he was a beast when when it came to special teams and stuff like that so you know um, you know we got to make sure that we we have somebody that could be a threat on special teams because. You know, it takes all three phases of the game to win. It really does. So, um, you know, that, that just goes there. And he also uh, um, stated that players are going to be paid on a game-to-game -game basis, right? So each for each game that they play, they'll be paid for. And if there's any games that, they're, that they don't play, they're not going to be paid, right? So, I mean, 
with that basically with that being said it's like you know if the pandemic gets really like out of hand i mean it already is right now i ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie to you it already is but if you know if it gets to a point to where it affects it fully affects football then you know people are going to be out either sick or they don't have a job they're not going to get paid so what does that mean for next season how does that even work does anybody know how that would roll over to the following season if um you know howie roseman still has all this money on his books he's not able to play uh pay his players you know what i mean so would that roll over to the following season and you know does that mean that we'll have a lot of money to um you know to pick up big players like yannick and gogway you know what i'm saying or jamal adams what would that what would that um that money be able to uh to go to you know what i'm saying and i mean if it's rolled over i mean it may be a blessing in, in disguise you know what i'm saying but um i really you know when it all comes down to it you got to care about people you know what i'm saying you got to care about people and you know i'd rather everybody be safe than to be sick so you know my prayers are always going to be going out to those people that have it that have gone through it or lost somebody to it um you know, it's always going to be out there for you. So we just got to keep rooting for each other and stick together. You know what I mean? Um, other than that, guys, like, I think that Doug and the other coaches, they have to make sure that uh, there's a phrase out there called KISS, right? Keep it simple, stupid. You know what I mean? So he's going to have to make sure that he keeps it simple. Uh, I mean, so simple that these rookies, these undrafted, whoever uh, or whichever undrafted free agent, a player that they get in get on the roster or get into camp you know make sure that they can um you know not only because a lot of people have been doing mental work with the, the playbook so they got to do they got to put that physically to, on the field and make sure that they put it all together right so doug and the rest of the coaches they gotta make sure that these guys are doing that so that way we can get their full potential out right because, like, as I said before, I mean, we're we're one of the best uh, teams in the league as far as bringing out the potential of undrafted free agents. So it would be a damn shame to see, you know, some of these guys that we're excited to see and, and we know that they have potential to not, you know, even make it to training camp. And, you know, with the veterans, it's going to be easier with the veterans because they already know the playbook. They just got to get their body reacclimated and, and back into football shape. And speaking of that... You know, putting all the stress on your body, you know, the way they're talking about going to, um, going through camp and how they're going to, you know, how they're going to uh, basically go about it is like, I'm just more worried about them putting too much stress on their body to where their body can't even really fully recover. Because it sounds like even with the like the small break that they'll they'll get, it won't even really make a difference because their body really won't recover. And as I said in another video prior to this, you know, I expect a lot of sloppy play from our team in September if the season kicks off. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, Doug, Jim, you know, all these guys like uh, Jeff Stoutland, you know, those guys, uh, Aaron Moorhead and, um, and uh, Manuel, I believe, that's a DB coach. You got to keep it simple, stupid. You know what I'm saying? So so these guys can, you know, just do the basic stuff and, and be able to succeed. You know, so that's all I'm really going to uh, got to say about that, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know which undrafted free agents are in danger of not even making it to camp. Which ones um, that you think are, are definitely on lock to be to make it to training camp. And really just a ball out in training camp. Let me know which ones that you think will. And uh, let let me know what you guys think about the uh, the NFLPA and their uh, decision um, to change the collective bargaining agreement. You know what I mean? Let me know what you think about that. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're digging this video. As always, go birds. So E-A-G-L-E-S, Eagles, and Nets. What's up? You guys take it easy. Peace. Down the beginning of battle, I'm lethal. Nigga, too sweet and low, you ain't equal. Shut him down. I'm a